Okay, so according to your question, this is how I set up my triangle. Um, I don't know if there was a visual originally that would have helped a lot, um, but according to everything you said, triangle ABC, it's equilateral. This isn't perfect equilateral, but I tried to make it close. Um, you have BM, um, where M is your midpoint, and BM is your median going from your midpoint to the opposite vertex. And then uh, CN in there is your angle bisector, so it bisects ACB, um, and it goes from C to N, um, and N would be the midpoint here. Anyways, and then those intersect at a point we're going to call X because that's what it says. So I'm going to put this little point right here to show that's where it intersects. And that's called X. And then they told us it's equilateral and each side is two. So that means all of these are two. And that also means we know AM is one because that's half of two. M is the midpoint, which divides the line in half. And then over here also, MC is one. Okay, so I'm not sure if there were um, formulas around to shorten this, but basically what I did um, to get these formulas that I actually found online, but I think they did the same thing I did, is use Pythagorean theorem now to figure out what BM is. Because you know this side, you know this side, you know this is a right triangle. Um, and then you can figure out what BX is once you know what BM is. Okay, so using Pythagorean theorem, that says that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now remember, C is the hypotenuse, the side opposite of the right angle. So that's going to be your two. And then A and B are just your two straight sides in a right triangle. So we'll say that, we'll say X or any variable. Don't get confused with that X. Let's say maybe Y because um, we don't know what BM is. If we need to, we could rewrite this triangle like this. Here's BM and C. And we know this is one, this is two, this is, we'll say Y. That's what we're solving for. So y squared plus b squared is 1 squared, b is 1, and c squared is 2 squared. Okay. Um, y squared plus 1 equals 4. We're simplifying. Then we subtract. y squared equals 3. So our y here is square root of 3. Okay, so square root of 3 is the value of that whole side, bm. Now here's something else interesting. So that whole side is square root of 3. In an equilateral triangle, your centroid, which is what we're going to call this X, where your uh, median and your, uh, well, this is also a median because all the medians are also angle bisectors, um, where all the medians intersect is your centroid here. It's a ratio of two to one. So this side from the centroid to the vertex is two compared to here from the centroid to your midpoint is one, which means this side is two thirds times your length, which we'll say we found was y. And this is only one third. If it, the ratio is two to one, that means two plus one is three, is the, say that's the total length. Um, and so if this is twice as long, that's two times, um, one third is two thirds and one third. Anyways, so multiply times one. So if 
our y here is square root of 3, and we want to find from our centroid to our vertex, we are going to do square root of 3, we'll say over 1, times 2 thirds. And our final answer here should be 2 square roots of 3 all over 3. And then we could also confirm, so um, let me show you, oh, I'd like to show you real quick my whole screen. Um, application window. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Just.